Right now I'm on the way to dance shop to take one of my buddies brother-in-law to to get a quote on uh, on his color match on his Sierra you can see him back there he's following me he just started building it he dropped it Sergio did the sunroof as well on his so once I get to the shop I'll show you guys his truck I'll do a little walkthrough of his truck it looks nice and it's gonna look even better with the whole front end color match if he decides to do it I know he's gonna get some wheels pretty soon as well because he's gonna attend a show um, sometime this month I think he's going with the same ones I have I'm not sure I, I don't remember what he said but I know he wants to finish that truck um, for a show so I'll show you guys what his truck looks like once he's done with his project as well So the weather's been super bad out here for the last couple of days. Well, this whole week's gonna suck. It's gonna rain, but it's also good because it gives me time to do stuff like this. As I told you guys in the last video that I had a show May 4th um, that I wanted to attend in both trucks, the Silverado and the Jeep. And I've been so busy that I didn't have time to take my truck to get resprayed or or take the dents out that I had in the bed that I had mentioned in the last video. So now it's Tuesday, April 30, and the show is this Saturday. So, so we're on a time crunch here. Hopefully I finish the truck. If not, it's gonna suck, but I don't like to rush my things. And also a huge shout out to Dan from Immaculate Motorsports once again, man. I hit him up and I was like, hey man, if you have the time, it's cool. I understand it's a short time. If you don't have the time, it's fine. Like it's, it's whatever. And then, man, this dude was like, let's do it. Let's get, let's get it done, man. Huge, huge shout out to Dan. Once again, if you guys need paint work or restoration on your old school cars or whatnot, hit up Dan. He for sure came through on this one. So I'm on my way to his shop right now. Also cool thing that I just found out, um, he said that, uh, my buddy's brother-in-law um, went ahead and told him to do the color match on his Sierra that I had uh, recorded for you guys uh, in the last clip. So we're gonna see how far he's gotten with that truck and uh, I'll record that for you guys as well. So you guys can see the before and after on that Sierra, on that project. And uh, if you guys like, like I said, hit him up for the, the, your front end color match uh, work. Uh, cool thing is I also have my stabilizer here with me at all times. So I'll try to use that at his shop. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's going on. And uh, it's raining out here. It's gonna rain all week. So, like I said, it sucks, but it also gives me time to do uh, these projects that I have in mind. And I've been super busy. That gave me time for this. And uh, like I said, I'll record that for you guys. I'll take you guys with me to his shop. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can make it uh, this Saturday. If not. Oh well, I'll still be there. I won't take the trucks. The Jeep for sure, for sure. I don't think the hood's gonna be done. I'm making a, Dan's making a custom uh, cow hood for me. So I understand he's been super busy as well. He's been swamped with work. He just told me right now, um, which I understand. I'm not, I don't want, I don't like to rush people. I like perfection. So I, I'd rather have that thing looking nice and perfect, but if anything worse comes to worse, I'm gonna try to wrap the uh, the stock hood that I have on it. I'm gonna try to wrap that because I sold my Hellcat wood. <laughs> because I sold my Hellcat hood that I had on that truck. So I'm gonna try to wrap that hood, uh, the stock hood, 
and uh, if it looks nice then I'll take it but also a setback with that Jeep is that my front tires are shot they have no thread on the inner because I have it lowered and it has camber so the inner of that truck is uh, it's done it's done done deal um, so I'm kind of not debating like should I risk it and take it and drive it like that or should I just not drive it and, and just take the Silverado um, but we'll see about that I'm sure that knowing my ass once I have it wrapped I'm gonna wanna take the both trucks so what I'll do is I'll have my girlfriend drive this truck and then I'll drive the Jeep or vice versa I'll drive whichever one and I'll try to get both trucks out there to the show and um, yeah if I do then I'll see you guys there at the show and I expect some nice footage also I'm gonna take my stabilizer out there to the show and I'm gonna take my team and if you guys don't know by now I'm the president of team SRT so uh, you guys will see a lot of SRTs out there in my video um, I know when we started we had a few members now we're like at 60 plus members also with that it's, it's kind of hard to get all members out there because a lot of I understand a lot of them work a lot of them have families a lot of them have priorities and whoever makes it makes it you know and whoever doesn't well then maybe there's always next time there's always truck invasion coming up as well uh, July 7th or one of those dates I don't know the exact date but uh, the Midwest truck invasion is also coming so if you guys are from out of state or whatever if you guys would like to come I'll be there for sure and for sure both trucks I have I want to have them done um, by then so like I said I'm on the way to the shop and then I'll record uh, some footage for you guys and uh, hopefully we get some things done my goal for today is to try to get the uh, rear bumper off and figure out how we're gonna take those dents off and I'll show you guys the dents that, I, that came with the truck when I bought it like I told them, I might get rained out again, and I have time to help him. That's one cool thing about him as well. I've known him for a couple years, so I get to help him out with his stuff that's going on in his in his, in his shop, and then I also get to work on my truck, and uh, he helps me out uh, with questions or, or the next steps. So, like I said, huge shout out to Dan, and if you guys haven't followed his page by now, please follow him. Uh, he's always got projects going on too at his shop, and... Uh, yeah, thanks guys and thanks for the love and the videos and also thanks for those people who've actually messaged me and told me that my uh, conversion on the HD video has helped them out a lot. That's that's good. I, I like to hear stuff like that, that my work is actually uh, my work is actually being put to work and that my work is also helping you guys, which that's that's awesome, that's cool. Yeah guys, thanks. So yeah, I'll record when I get to the shop, so peace. So here's my buddy's uh, brother-in-law's truck. Uh, he looks like he put the wheels on it already the ones I had told you guys that he was gonna put like mine But I guess he went with black and uh, Hopefully if everything goes good uh, also tomorrow this one's gonna go in for the color match We're gonna doing all the chrome delete and hopefully like I said I get called off tomorrow So I'm able to uh, be here with Dan and help him out and It's also a cool project. Uh, we're gonna delete. We're gonna paint the chrome as well on the rear chrome bumpers and yeah, hopefully I'm able to record this as well so you guys can see the final product.
almost looks like a can right there. Yeah, it's really <laughs> like, <yeah>. a <laughs> like a Mountain Dew. That's like, a good one, man. Like a Mountain Dew can. But cool. I'll let you do your work, man. I'll let you do what you do <laughs> best. off my truck uh, Dan's over there um, trying to get the dents out I'll try to show you guys right now but in the meantime I'm gonna help him scuff this car out because he's gonna paint it right now so yeah I help him out he helps me out so I'm gonna scuff this car out and I'll show you guys the dents right now So while Dan's up in the booth uh, spraying that one car that I was sanding for him, I took the tail lights off and as you guys seen, he was working on this side already. Finally I don't have that dent. That's something that I also wanted to do when I first got the truck was to remove it uh, ASAP. Since that bumper was covering most of it, uh, I was in no major rush. But now since I got that roll pan, it's something that I have to do. I had to do and uh, if I wanted to take it to the show on Saturday, there was no way I was going to take it with that dent. That's just me because I'm picky with my cars. And I want to have a nice clean car at a show. I don't want to have no dent, like no dent car or a car with huge dents or scratches or rust or whatever. We're also going to take this one out. I don't know if you guys can see it. And we're going to take a few of the other dents off. And uh, I'll try to record that for you guys right now. I know he's going to stay here for a couple more hours. And I got to go because I got to go do some other things at home. And yeah, hopefully I get to record the other parts of him taking out these dents. Hopefully I get rained out tomorrow and I'm able to come and record and work in my truck. If not, I'm sure Dan's gonna take good care of me and yeah, so stay tuned guys.
All right, so Dan's in the booth right now, and I pulled in the Sierra so I can start taking it apart. He's in there doing the, the bondo work, the body filler on the truck because we already took the dents out. So, yeah, that's the next step do the filler and all that stuff on the body. So, like I said, I pulled in the Sierra. I'm gonna take it all apart for him. So, while he does that, uh, I'm gonna help him take this one apart so he can get that ready for the color match. Um, this one's also on the time crunch for the Saturday show. So uh, maybe I'll upload both vlogs on how to do the color match and my uh, bed together. That way it'll be two vlogs in one. So yeah, I'll take this one apart for you guys right now and I'll show you guys on how to take some stuff off for you guys. So peace. For those people who are wondering how to take a door panel off, there's a bolt there, there's a bolt in here. Actually there's two bolts in there. You take them apart, you take the switches off. One, two, three, four bolts. And just take it, uh, take it apart. And, uh, but in this situation, we're gonna take the whole thing apart because I just needed to get to the mirrors. There's only three, one, two, three uh, nuts that I had to loosen up, and we'll take the mirror apart. So yeah. Uh, I took the mirrors off already. We're gonna do the mirrors. Uh, next step is to take these off. It only has like one, two, three, four. I believe five, five screws. And it should pop up right easy. I already took the screws off of this one, so they should pop up real easy. You see? It's hard to do with one hand, but as you can see, they should just pop off once you unscrew them all. Easy peasy. So I took the mirrors apart already. I took the, the side trim on the fenders off already. And my next uh, my next step is to take the grill off and the bumper. So I try to record that for you guys. It's kind of hard because I don't have nobody here recording me while I take it off. And like I said, we're in a time crunch. There's no really no time for, uh, for us to be screwing around. All right, so I removed the grill. There was a ton of bolts. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. There was two here, and about four more in the bottom. So uh, that's how you remove the grill on these newer trucks. Now, time to remove the bumper.
morning y'all so here's another day which looks like well, another rain out day for me I'm waiting on Dan to pick me up because I left my truck there at his shop yesterday so he's gonna give me a ride to his shop one cool thing about last night is that I picked up a SS wing for my truck I'll show you guys right now so I'm gonna try to get that uh, installed today as well I try to get it straight and uh, try to do some body work so yeah I'm just waiting on Dan to pick me up and uh, I'll take you guys with over there and I'll record but yeah, here's the SS wing that I bought last night. Um, I believe it's fiberglass. Um, it looks like it's already primered or whatnot, but see that it has stuff like this that I wanna get straight, straighten out before I install or before I even put paint on it. That's just me. Um, and I wanna make sure that if I'm gonna do something, I do it right. Alright guys, so I took the rear bumper off of this one. It had a tow hitch, which that was a pain in the ass, but um, I took the rear bumper off already. I got the front bumper here now, which I'm going to start uh, taking it all apart so we can get ready to sand and uh, prep, uh, as well as the rear bumper and as well as the other parts from the truck. So yeah, I can't really, like I said, record that much because we're on a time frame here and uh, we're, we're trying to get both trucks done. We got two days left. Or actually one day left so like i said i'm sorry i couldn't record all the process i would as much as i would like to but we're on, like i said we're on a time frame so i'm trying to record as much as i can so yeah bear with me guys peace so now i'm sending the bumper right now same stuff as i did with my silverado so yeah if you guys haven't watched that video make sure you guys check it out i tell you what great you can sand the chrome bumpers with. That chrome, and it's, this is how you want it to look right here. Nice and dull, so yeah. I got the whole grill taken apart. So it's a lot of sanding, a lot of chrome, and. No time. <laughs> so while I'm sending that chrome, Dan's in the booth already spraying primer on the truck. And uh, yeah, we're moving now. That's good. All right, so it looks like Dan primered it already. No more dance, finally. There's the roll pan. Here are the side pieces for my wing. Here's the wing as well. Now the next step is to just sand everything out and make every make sure everything's straight. All right, so right now I'm sending out the bed with this block. I'm sending it, making sure there's everything straight. And while I'm doing that, Dan's in the booth. He's uh, he's priming the parts for the Sierra. But yeah, I'll get back to sanding, and I'll try to record more for you guys. But like I said, I'll get back to sanding because we're running out of time here, and the day's getting late. So yeah. And the only thing that's gonna suck is that I'm busy tomorrow, so I won't be able to come here in early in the morning. So I'm gonna miss out on, on him spraying the bed, so I won't be able to record that for you guys. That's gonna be done. I think he's also gonna assemble it early in the morning to try to get uh, this truck out at least, and then mine at the end. But if I'm not busy, I'll swing by here and I'll record that for you guys. Um, if I don't, I'll show you guys this, my truck and uh, this Sierra's truck 
at the show because he is going to be at the show that I'm going to as well on Saturday, which is called uh, Midwest Takeover over in Loves Park or something like that. So there should be it should, it should be fun. Um, I was actually talking about doing this vlog, uh, two for one vlog, but I think I'm gonna cut it short here, and I'm gonna edit all this stuff that I've recorded now, and it's just and then I'll do the finished product in vlog number two because. If I do all in one vlog, it's gonna be way too much uh, editing for me. And it's also like, and I'm also super busy now. So that's another thing that sucks. So I'll try to kick this vlog out first and then uh, expect the other one pretty soon. I'll go to the car show and I'll do some filming there for you guys. So yeah, that, expect that for vlog number two. Expect the finished product. And then I'll record part of that show. I'll record both trucks. Um, like I said, he's gonna attend that show as well. So I'll record that truck and yeah guys thanks so much i hope you guys like the video and like i said if you guys haven't by now subscribe and yeah peace